Hello and welcome to part 1 of module 1 making a website. This is module 1 of a 5 part course entitled Becoming an E-Teacher. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can see the entire course for free with all supporting documents at the address below. The first thing we need to do is understand what Fifi, our fictional secondary school teacher, needs from her website. So we asked her for a wish list, and here it is. Fifi would like a place for each of her classes. She would like a place for general class information. She wants to put class news for each week. Also a place for resources, where she can upload class notes and handouts, add videos and podcasts. She'd also like our students to make comments and do this with no technical ability on her behalf. We think the best solution for Fifi is Google Sites, and here's why. Firstly, it's free. Secondly, easy to use, no technical ability. You can make as many sites as you like. It also comes with email and a word processor, a spreadsheet and presentation tools. And finally, there's lots of online support like videos and documentation. And you can watch a video on Google Sites here. Fifi would like me to briefly explain exactly what a website is. Well, every website begins with one single page. And on this page, you can have text, an image, sound, or a mixture of all three. Then you can add more pages if you like, and there's always usually one main page, and this is called a home page. All these pages are held together by links in the same way a copy book is held together by staples. Finally, when you have all your pages together, you store them on a collective address like yoursites.com. Now all of these pages live on a single computer which is on all of the time so it's easy to access whenever you like and this is called a host computer. Google will be our host for Fifi's site. Every good website begins with a good plan and here's the plan we have for Fifi's site. She's going to have a home page and this will be a general introduction. Then she's going to have a page for each of her classes. She has four classes, Maths 1, Maths 2, History and Art class. Now each of these classes will have its own page for class news. And there will also be a page for each class for resources. The first thing Fifi needs to do is create a Google account. She's going to need a username and she has chosen Fifi Teaches, which is a combination of her name and what she does. But the most important thing Fifi needs is a very good password. She needs something which is going to protect her. Please don't use a regular word. Use a mixture of numbers and letters and symbols. And you can check your password strength at a site like passwordmeter.com. Now we're going to go online and we're going to set up Fifi's Gmail account. First thing, we're going to find Gmail. Here we are. We click in, and you will see the login page for Gmail and Google accounts. If you have an account, you can log in here. But I do suggest, even if you have a Google account, to make a new one specifically for your teaching. And this is what Fifi is going to do. So Fifi puts in her username and we say check availability and it is available. If your na name is not available you can simply change it and Google will give you options on that. Enter the password you have made. I'm getting a strong ear which is good. If you want to, you can say signed in. I don't enable web history. I'm going to turn that off. Now, there will be a security question. Security question will be an answer to one of these questions. I'm going to say, what is your teacher's first name? However, the answer I'm going to give will not be my teacher's first name, and this is a good idea. Pick something that you will always remember, but that is not your teacher's first name. If you have a second email, you can put it in here. Your location. And finally, you will be asked to enter in a word you will see here. The reason for this is to prevent websites automatically setting up Gmail accounts for spam. This way, only a human can create a Gmail account. So it's W, Y. 
Sometimes these are difficult to see and you might have to do it more than once. Remember to agree. It will take a moment. And there we go. Congratulations. Click on show my account. Type in and you'll see Fifi's account opens. And there's three welcome emails from Fifi. And this is the beginning. The next we're going to click on more. We're going to click on sites and see how Fifi will create her own website using Google's site tools. And that's the end of part one of this module. In part two we're going to set up Fifi's website. Remember if you're watching this video on YouTube you can see the entire course with all the supporting documents for free at the website below. The avatars in this video are made at www.spstudio.de.